So I'm looking at our current diplomacy and looking at our score and look how low we've gotten. We're basically barely competing with people who have just arrived. So something needs to change and I expect we're fairly far behind on science. Science and she might be getting a, a let's see. Actually, oh cool, we can break down the, the score here. So 36 from tech. What is ours? Um, 24. Yeah, she's she's charging ahead on the science. Uh, we're, we're seeing a lot more, let's see, 20, 48 pop from population. Okay, we're kind of close. We're, we're, I guess we're okay. We definitely, though, we definitely need to get something going our way. We're falling behind, so I'm not sure how to close the gap just yet. I'm hopeful, though. I'm hopeful that as we explore, as we develop our science, and hopefully fix our health situation, we'll start to pull ahead a bit. I feel like our trade route is definitely helping, and uh, overall, the aliens, they, they haven't really been, they haven't really devastated us. Uh, we haven't lost any terribly important units, so, or cities, <laughs> just yet. So hopefully that trend continues. I feel like over time, though, we're gonna have a, a worse and worse difficulties actually pushing pushing ahead and, and pushing the aliens out of our territory. Because that's what we're going to do. I, I'm sick of these aliens always, like, coming around being, being creepers and just being obnoxious. So, so we're going to we're gonna deal with this. This bug menace. Let's see. We got Slavic Soldier. <laughs> Go for it, my mighty Slavic Soldier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, next turn. Next turn. Well, it's a good thing that we, we kind of played friendly with... Oh, we're getting a road built. That's good, I guess. From trade routes. I'm worried about the road maintenance getting to be a little bit crazy, though. It seems like it's for every two length of road, you pay one credit. So this is going to be like... One, two, three, four... Five more... So, it looks like, yeah, we're going to lose, like, three gold, I, I would estimate. Hopefully, though, I believe when you link up two cities, you get a little bit of a, a boost uh, to gold. So, we'll see what happens. Um, gosh, honestly, I could use another worker at this point. Usually, for every two cities, one worker is sufficient, but we have, we've kind of been neglecting... At least, and, and I don't know, maybe that's not the case for this game, but for most Civilization games, it's a 2 to 1 ratio is ideal. But we've kind of been neglectful of our capital, and we could have put in more improvements for it. It's already at level 6, and I only have, it looks like, 4 improvements. So I'm falling behind on improvements, and to catch up, we might want to consider another worker. Unfortunately, uh, we, we really need to get this building built first, so I don't think the workers going to happen just just right away. So, you know, um, does, is this guy moved or no? Why is it saying next turn? Ugh. So we're pushing towards the alien alien menace. We're going to hopefully wipe them out. And then we can start thinking about clearing this miasma out a bit and actually opening up a trade route between us and Fort Barca as well. So, I, I, I'm thinking, like, Red Sun, Fort Barca, and Shackleton. Let's see, so that's food and gold. That's pretty good. Um, oh, that's the terrain output. That's not the... what? How do we look up... Do we click here? Okay. Shackleton provides culture. Okay, this one's good, because it gives you a whole bunch of everything. Uh, and tier... Two, okay, even better. So we definitely want to try to hook up with Shackleton, which means we need to explore. So hopefully we'll wipe out the bug threat. We can get more explorers kind of moving around the area and, and all that jazz. So huzzah, huzzah. Sorry to pause there. Uh, I, I, I'm just trying to get my, my throat caught with my throat a bit. Uh, I've been doing a lot of recording and 
you know, the, the air is so dry is today. Like, it's it's kind of weird. So, been, deal, been dealing with the weather and all that. So, oh, boy. Ooh. That's a lot of wolf beetle. <laughs> that, that's a lot of wolf beetle. Um, be a minor victory, minor defeat. Uh, let's, let's move on to here. And uh, do these grow back? I really thought I had destroyed it. Oh well, I, I need to kill this alien nest if I can. Because, you know, we're, we're supremacy. We're not going to make friendly with the bugs. They're not going to be our pals. We're, we're taking them over. So, you know, this is our land now. And they need to learn to under, understand our uh, our power. <laughs> so, it's it's... Yeah, we're, we're going to deal with this kind of pesky bug situation. Ooh. That's a lot of damage he just took. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Like, there's so many of them. Um, if I fortify maybe, uh, he can wear them down. Okay, well, well, we'll try healing, and maybe that will... He doesn't have a, a bonus, though. I thought he was... Is he on forest? He's on forest. So, 10 defense. We'll see what happens if our soldier hangs out for a bit. I, I'm worried these aliens are going to wipe him, though. That's a, that's a lot. Man. <laughs> We're going to have to do something about these guys sooner rather than later. They're just... They're, they're getting really, really uppity. You know, and, and at this point, I'm looking at one, two, three, like six, no, five enemies on our screen. Oh, man. This is like the last stand right here. You know, remember the Alamo? <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. I just want to explore this area. Bugs, chill out. Okay, well, bugs are jerks, you know? They're very selfish. They, they want the wreck for themselves. I don't think we can hold off all these bugs, actually. Yeah, he's dead. He's a goner. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And look, now they're getting all cocky. They're like, haha, they're easy to take out. Let's get their city now. I'm going to have to show them what's what. <laughs> hey, Virtue. Awesome. A unit was killed. Yeesh, I have no army whatsoever. It's it's bad, guys. It's it's really, really bad. Boy, um I have no wonders to build. That's not bad. Uh what about let's see. Every basic resource. I think that's stuff like the fiber, you know, and all that. So that could be quite good actually. What about let's see. 25 production towards buildings, which have already been built in. Oh, interesting. That's okay. Because your capital, especially with a productive capital, is going to put out a whole lot of stuff. Um, entrepreneurial space flight. That'd be a nice one to get eventually. Eh, interesting. Um... <laughs> We're still working on, like, this would be nice if I had an army of some kind to actually, like, get to these things. Each city tile, I kind of want to do this one. Accelerate the virtues that we get. Um, although health, let's see. Is there any, like, health boost? Because that's something that's been hurting me, too. Not really, no. Hmm... What's this one? I think we need this, honestly. Like, the way these aliens have been just kind of messing us up. That's interesting. So you can basically, like, bully the aliens. Ooh. The military stuff is actually quite good. Um, yeah, like that. So the bigger your army the more health you have, which means you can have bigger cities, which means you can afford a bigger army. I, I like the synergy of that. Honestly, this would be almost a useful thing right now. I also think we need to, to get the ranger unit, something that can actually take these bugs on, because they're 
they're starting to kind of ro roll over us, and I, it's going to get to the point where I can't go out and explore because we'll have too many bugs on on us. So, I don't know. Um, for This is kind of confusing. So, each city tile generates 0.5 culture for every... Okay, so let's say we have four population in a city so every city tile and i assume that's every city tile that's actually getting worked would generate um one that's not bad that's a really big culture boost and honestly i'd like to get more virtues like unlock them a little faster even get some of these synergy bonuses this is also a good one right here because I made five energy in the capital for free. I, I like that one a lot. I also like the growth ones, to be honest. Um, I should at least get frugality, although I'm thinking... Like, the second synergy bonus is quite good. It'd be nice to get. Oh, and the third even. I wonder, with this one, can I choose, like, really high-tech stuff? <laughs> um, one free affin- oh, cool, cool. Um, gosh. Let's work on culture. I want to accelerate our virtues a bit. Because, I mean, we're getting close to getting a free virtue and all that wonderful stuff. So, yeah, that's what we're going to work on. And, look, our, our bumped us up by one, so... That's, that's not too bad. That's that's like a one free culture building, so. And we definitely, like, this building this road feels almost like a mistake because it's taking so long to actually do it. Um, gosh, and it seems like the, the, I have a theory that these crash sites, the aliens tend to defend for some reason. They seem to enjoy them, so. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> moving along, moving along. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous with this Brazilian guy. He seems to be really into warfare and just attacking things, and it, it gets me a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit worried. Um, I do like the Stellar Codex, though, so that's, that's the main reason I went for it. We need to get on our orbital buildings, so. Well, as the rocket battery unlocks the Stellar Codex Wonder. Oh, it's a wonder? Ooh, I don't know. It was a wonder. That's neat. Let's see. What is this? Really? But I thought we already did that. Oh, I think alliance is different from cooperation agreements. I don't know what cooperation agreements actually do. <laughs> um, hopefully something good, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Well, well, maybe if I click click on this, or I guess we have to reopen it. All right, Kavitha. Let's see. We have an alliance um, and cooperation agreements. So what's the deal? Um, oh, I think cooperation is like it goes away after you've established alliance. It's more for building from neutral to friendly and once you're at friendly you can do better so hmm i mean i can ask her for some science and stuff but i don't want to piss her off <laughs> so i, I kind of wish that they would like give you like considering my low low score and the fact that i've been super friendly and nice with them you would think they'd maybe take pity on me and and send me something anyway um yeah, <laughs> it, usually in the higher difficulties, what making alliances and agreements means is they aren't going to bully you. That's the only real advantage you get. <laughs> so, you know, I should just be lucky that I'm not getting bullied <laughs> and shut up. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes though, if you're even friendly for a really long time in Civ games, then yeah, a powerful Civ will come along and be like, hey, buddy, you look like you're struggling there a bit. Why don't I... Uh, why don't I help ease your, ease your troubles? You know, and they'll do that from time to time. I really hope this Brazilian explorer gets his butt kicked by the siege worm. 
because I don't want him to sneak in and grab this one. I've, I've really wanted to get this one for a long time. I've been trying. It's just this nest, this crazy little nest. Okay. We'll produce a soldier. Oh, did you, you made the health thing. Oh, and it wasn't enough. So, ooh, we're still one health bad. Well, let's see what's going on in our cities. If there's something I can do to fix this issue. Yeah, show the queue. So we have... Vivarium hasn't been built yet. I do want a Vivarium here, because eventually it'll grow to these desert tiles. I guess I keep kept pushing it down, kept pushing it down. Honestly, we these explorers are just going to get murdered, so... Let's not bother. <laughs> let's just not... Let's just give up on that whole idea. Um, see, hit points and defense. Anti-orbital strike. That's a cool one. Um, Ranger, yeah, let, let's get one of these guys so we can kind of sit further back and pluck at them. And I feel like my military is, is pretty bad. <laughs> so getting a little bit more couldn't hurt. I'd, I'd also really like to sort out, I mean, there's our, there's so much we need to fix, but getting, I might need to get this one just for that little bit of a health boost, because I don't seem to have many other options. Otherwise, a lab would be nice, because it would get our science going, and I feel like we're behind on our science quite a bit. Oh, a Stellar Codex. Hmm. I feel like we should build that. I'm not sure what would be the best spot for it, though. So, orbital coverage increased by 8. It means that this high production city of our capital, they would be able to produce stuff. <laughs> uh, they, they'd have, like, a greater range for launching satellites, which wouldn't be bad. Um... I think those last the entire game. I don't think they ever expire. Let's get, let's do it. Let's go for that. Um, the vivarium is just food. I'm gonna skip that. Food's good. I know we have to grow our city, but scooping off a wonder like this early on could really help, especially because we're so based around orbital stuff anyway. So I like I like to get that done. Um, also, uh, unfortunately, if there are kind of like cool cinematic stuff with the wonders, I'm gonna have to skip it. Um, not allowed to by the the end user license agreement. So, yeah, if, if you want to see them, you're gonna have to like find other channels, maybe showing them off or or whatever. It's just it's the nature of the beast. So I, I don't you know I don't want to get in trouble with a company that has put out a really Really decent game, actually. Like, I, I'm enjoying this a lot, and I wonder why people... I mean, I get that, yeah, there are some issues. Like, I mean, the research web. This is too much. It's just too much. And I know they screwed up with their story, but the gameplay is solid, and, and I think most of the art is fairly good as well. I don't really like the, the way the background... Like, the, um... Well, the terrain could have used a little bit of uh, a little bit of polish, just so it stands out more. But I mean, honestly, like those are three legit issues to have with the game. But I feel like the strengths of the game definitely pull it ahead. You know, if you're thinking of it like a scale and trying to balance it, yeah, there's some bad, but the good is good, and I, I kind of wish people had. Instead of just listening to the reviews, maybe people could have tried to play the game a bit. <laughs> uh, you know. Anyway.